Hello there and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up guys and welcome back to another cool and fun tutorial. We got a nice one here. This is highly requested on this channel and I finally got around to doing it. It is the Union Pacific Big Boy Steam Locomotive. These are very difficult to do in Minecraft and I have told a lot of you in the comment section that it is. And it is. I've only done two the whole time that I've been doing Minecraft. Uh, I think this turned out really, really nice. And I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. It's going to be really, really fun. So I'm just kind of swinging around this thing real quick, letting you take a look at what I have and what I come up with. And uh, I think it turned out really, really well, like I said just a minute ago. And uh, let's go ahead and jump over to a blank world and let's go ahead and start building it. All right, guys, so this is what we're going to be building. We're going to be building the big boy. I put it right next to the uh, Per Marquette that I built. It's the only other steam engine that I have. Uh, you can find it by either clicking down in the description. It's uh, Polar Express Train, uh, and then I have some other cars behind it that actually make it the Polar Express. But anyways, I took that steam engine and I set it next to the big boy just for scale reference. The Per Marquette is about 30 meters long. And the big boy is supposed to be about 40, and I've got it about 50. And that's just to make sure that I, to cram all the wheels in underneath and still make it look okay. So it's just a few meters longer than it should be, but I think scale-wise it turned out really, really nice. So anyways, let's go ahead and go over the list of materials that we're going to be using in this tutorial. And I'm using nether brick, nether brick stairs, and nether brick slabs. You can change these out for a cobblestone if you don't have my texture pack. If you want my texture pack, it's in the description down below, M4K. Uh, I have another brick fence, I've got mossy cobblestone wall, I've got stone bricks, stone brick slabs, stone brick stairs, I've got cobblestone stairs, cobblestone wall, I've got gray wool, I've got some coal for the tender, and I've got some signs, and then I've got stacked gold's head. So if you're on PC, you can do a command block or a command give and give yourself that exact block, and uh, basically it's a player head. And it's just, uh, it's just a gold block is all it is, and it's smaller than uh, a normal size block. Uh, one of the features, nice features that we have on PC. And uh, other than that, that's all we are going to be needing. Let's go ahead and start building it. All right, we're going to be starting off with our another brick, and we're going to put two blocks down just like that. And then in front of that, we're going to put a stair. On the side of this, we're going to put a stair. And on the side of this, we're going to put a stair. And then behind this one here, we're going to put 44 slabs. So count with me. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, and 44. Just like that. And yeah, I know some of my tracks are missing. <laughs> uh, anyways, back to the front. We are going to start with the first set of guide wheels and we are going to jump over to our cobblestone stairs. We're going to skip one space, go to the second space, and we're going to have an upside down stair here. Whoops. Facing forward and one facing back, just like that. We're gonna skip a space and do it again, here and here. And there's gonna be a lot of repetition with all these wheels. The smaller wheels are just gonna be built up like this. And you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So right over here, you're gonna do the same thing. All right, for the big set of wheels in the middle, we're gonna do it just like this. We are going to skip two spaces and then put an upside down stair. And then we're going to put a block of cobblestone, and then we're going to go back to an upside down stair. So it makes the wheels in the, the middle just a little bit bigger like they should be. And then we're just going to touch the next one back to it right here. And we're going to do it again. And we're going to do this four times in total. So there is two. Three. And four. We're going to skip three slabs and do it again. So on the fourth slab, upside down stair piece and then your cobblestone block, and then upside down, and then just do it three more times. All right, so you have another set of four just like that. All right, skip two more slabs again, and then on the third slab, we're gonna put the back set of wheels here, and those are just like the front ones back to back. Skip a spot, and back to back. Those get built up just like this. All right, and then the ones in the middle, we're just gonna go ahead and run uh, a block of cobblestone, just like that, and use some dark gray wool or light gray wool in the middle, whatever you wanna use for your center hub. And we're just gonna do that on all the other ones. So it should look just like that. Go ahead and put the blocks in the middle to cover up the center piece. And then finish off with the stair pieces on the outside. All right, so all your wheels should look like that. 
oops, <laughs> I forgot one right here, and uh, do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, after you build that, drop back down with your slabs, and we're going to connect right here on the bottom or the top hitbox of these stairs, and we're going to connect this with three, one, two, three, right there. And then on the middle piece of cobblestone, on the second wheel going back, we're going to go one, two, and three. And then in between this gap right here, we're going to have one, two, three. And then we're going to do it again on the second, third, and fourth wheel right here, and do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, back to the front, right here on the second block back, the second solid block of these two right here, we're gonna put one more and put a stair in front of it. So it looks just like this. And then we're gonna run the solid blocks right down the middle, all the way to the back. And leave one block or one slab exposed on the end. Back to the front, grab your stair pieces. And on either side of this block right here, we're gonna put on each side, we're gonna put two pieces here and two pieces right here. On the back side of that, we're gonna put an upside down stair right here and right here. All right, on the side guide wheels right here, we're gonna put three pieces. So we're gonna put an upside down stair piece going this way. We're gonna connect in the middle so that it turns and then one going that way. So it makes this piece right here. Same thing on the other side. All right, on the first wheel, we're gonna put an upside down stair piece going this way and one going this way, just like that and then three slabs underneath, one, two, and three, and it should connect in the middle just right here. All right, same thing on the other side, upside down stair piece going this way, one going this way, and then three slab pieces, one, two, and three again, so it looks just like this. All right, back to your solid block, and we're gonna put one here, and then an upside down stair piece facing you, and we're gonna go just in between all the gray. So it should look just like that and then go back between that with your slabs. So it should look like that. Same thing on the other side. Solid block, upside down stair pieces in between. And then your slabs. Again, another look at it from this side. All right, when you reach this middle piece, we're gonna go back to our slabs and we're gonna put some upside down ones. So just put a regular one and then put two upside down on the outside just like this and then connect it in the middle. So again, it makes another uh, piece that looks just like this. Same thing on this side. All right, next upside down stair piece right here facing the back of the train or the engine, and then one facing the front of the engine, and then a solid block. And then same thing we did on the first set with upside down stairs and then back through with your slabs. All right, same thing on the other side, upside down stairs, facing the back of the train, one going forward, solid block, upside down stairs, and then back to your slabs. All right, and just in front of these wheels here, we're gonna put a stair piece right here on each side. All right, and then the back part here, upside down here and upside down here and then back to your slabs and put two slabs after that and then your mossy cobblestone wall or whatever you're using for the coupler and put a couple going out the back just like that all right guys back to the front all right we're going to put a block right here and then we're going to go back two three four five six seven eight and then we're just going to make that three wide so just go one on each side just like this all right grab some stairs and put an upside down stair piece here and one right here. All right, and we're just gonna run that back two, three, four, and on the fifth one, we're gonna turn it just like this. And two, three, four, and on the fifth one, turn it again so it should line up straight with the other pieces right here. All right, we got three slabs in between. One, two, three. All right, grab your solid block and we're gonna put one here, skip one, put one, skip one, put one, skip two, put one, skip two and then put a slab so one two and then a slab and it should be on the solid block so right here all right we're going to go up and then just connect in between again so it looks like this and we'll do the other side together so starting right here three slabs one two three solid block skip one solid block skip one solid block skip two solid block skip two and then a slab again and it should be right in the middle of this one and then connect at the top. 
and then fill in the middle with your solid to right there so far again another look at it stop the video where you need to this is the uh, probably the most complex part of the train all right go ahead and fill in the middle with solid blocks and you just run this down to the end of these wheels for right now we'll come back to that all right put three pieces in here of solid block put three pieces in here of solid block this will make this next part a little bit easier upside down stairs facing forward facing back this one's facing out this one's facing forward and that one's facing back again so it should line up with the piece underneath same thing on that side all right back to your solid block we've got a solid block right here skip one solid block skip one solid block skip two solid block skip two and then back to a slab and again it should be right in the middle of that solid cobblestone wall piece right here and then connect in the middle on the other side again back to your solid block put one skip one put one skip one put one skip two put one skip two and put a slab right in the middle of that cobblestone block piece connect with your slabs and another look at it from this side all right grab your solid block and we're going to go out the end from here one two three four five six seven eight and nine so you should have one slab exposed all right go ahead and make that three wide and grab your stair pieces and we're just going to cover up seven of them one two three four five six seven change this one out for a regular stair piece and this one here out for a regular stair piece and again seven from here one two three four five six seven so you should have one full block exposed and then a stair piece and then to trim it off we've got a little slab piece right there in the middle all right that is the first three layers so far all right guys back here at the front we're going to put another solid piece right here and then we're going to put our fence posts in three there and three here now we're going to grab our slabs and we're going to put two on the outside here oops one two and then a stair piece or a fence rather and then two slabs here on this side and then your fence piece all right go back to the middle grab your stairs we're going to skip one and we're going to put a stair here here and here then we're going to go back to our solid pieces and we're going to go right behind that one two three four five six and seven and then we're going to go just to the inside of that one two three four five and then from here we're going to go back 27 blocks so there's one two and 27 go straight across and fill it in solid and then grab your slabs and connect right here right behind the solid block and run that back stopping right there same thing on the other side All right, switch over to your stone bricks and we're going to put in 10 pieces one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then cover these up with your nether brick solid blocks one two and then go across here and back forward and then again with your stone bricks across here one two whoops on the outside one two three four five six seven eight nine ten fill in the center continue down the side with your slabs and then the last two are upside down stairs same thing on this side and the last two are upside down stairs all right back to your solid and we're going to go three in the middle one two three do it two times put an upside down stair piece here and one right here and then surround that with slabs two three four five six and seven so it looks just like that and I'll try to get over here in the sunlight where you can see a little bit better all right back to the front all right switch over to your stone bricks and we're gonna put three right here skip once block and go one two three and then put two pieces of fence posts here on the outside all right grab your stone brick stairs and put an upside down stair piece on either side of that and then go back to your solid stone bricks and we're gonna put eight pieces so right here one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight all right switch back over to your nether brick or cobblestone and put 17 pieces behind that so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty forty fifty fifty seventeen should stop right here at the stone bricks and then build that up by ten 
So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Same thing on this side. All right, back to another brick. We've got one piece on the outside, one piece on the inside right here. And we're going to make the, uh, the furnace piece. It's going to go right here in the middle. And we can go ahead and light that up and then grab some coal ore and just fill some in behind it. You can make it however you want. I've got mine looks something like this. And then another wall piece right here. Again, it's not critical. You're not going to see this anyways, except from the inside when you're standing here looking in. So you can make that as deep as you want to. All right, straight back from this solid piece, we're going to skip one and then we're going to put a slab and then a cobblestone wall. Same thing on this side. So skip one, put a slab and then put a cobblestone wall and then go back to your solid block. And you're going to put two on the outside right here. One, two, one, two. And it's just going to leave a gap here in the middle. All right, and then to finish that off, grab your stairs, and we're going to run that all the way to the front on both sides. And then turn the last piece. Same thing going down the other side. And that finishes off that layer. All right, guys, it's getting progressively easier. We're just going to cover this up. And same thing on the sides. <laughs> Not right there. And then here. And then back to the solid piece and run that all the way back. Covering up the stone bricks. And stopping right here. And right there. Build up the middle. Build up your wall. Put some more coal in there if you want to. All right, grab some cobblestone stairs and you're going to put them here and here. And that's for the two seats on the inside. All right, and the outside here, we've got a solid piece and then a stair piece. And same thing right here, solid piece and a stair piece. All right, grab yourself some panes of glass and put three pieces in. And then back to your solid piece here and here. And then here and here. And then put an upside down stair piece facing the back right there and right there. So again, that should be the back. All right, back to the front, we're gonna put one solid piece here and then the rest are stairs and they're gonna wrap around the outside. And then back to your solid piece, another brick and put three across here. Back to your slabs. We're gonna skip one space and on the second block, we're gonna put two just like that, get rid of the first one and then put in four pieces right here. And then back to your solid piece and run that all the way back. Again to right here. Build up your walls again. Make this solid across there. Throw some more coal in there if you want to. Solid piece on top of here and here. And around the back, three pieces. And then your panes. Tricky little devils. All right, just about done with the engine, guys. We got a solid piece of another brick right here. And then our cobblestone wall, we've got a couple pieces right here. And that is where you're gonna pull the head in. <laughs> <laughs> right there if you're on PC. If not, you guys uh, on consoles can just leave this empty uh, or improvise, put something else there if you want to. We've got two pieces of cobblestone wall on each side right here and here. We've got a solid stone brick piece right behind this. And then I've got two pieces of mossy cobblestone right behind that. We've got slabs that are going to cover up here on the outside of the uh, stone brick. And then back to solid. Four pieces. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One more wall piece at the end, and then two sets of slabs, three wide. All right, and then back to your nether brick slabs and go three wide. All right, and the next set's gonna be five wide. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then come across the back. Solid blocks, leave two empty spots in the middle. So just tracing the inside of the slabs, just like that. If you wanna put some slabs down on the bottom, just like that, you can, it's up to you. We got three sets of slabs down the middle, and we're gonna do that three times. And then just go ahead and build up in the middle three, just like that. All right, we're gonna drop down to the inside here, and we're gonna put two across just like this. Grab your cobblestone wall pieces, and we're gonna put two right here and two right there. All right, behind that we've got three slabs. One, two, three, and then back to our five again. Two, three, four, five. 
and repeat with the six, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, and then bring it in. Solid pieces around the outside. Slabs down in the middle if you want to. And then four sets of slabs down the middle. One, two, three, and four. And then triple that up. All right, back to your stair pieces. We're going to put one right here just for a holding. And we're going to go on this side. One, two, three. And I guess I could have just went here on the side. We're going to turn those just like that. And that's going to be four total. So there's one, two, three, four. Same thing here. Two, three, four. Fill in the middle solid. All right, we're going to go up by one. And then two, three, four, five, and six. And it should stop on that block right here. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then two slabs sticking out from that. One, two, one, two. And then cover up the outside with slabs here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, guys, finish up the engine. We're going to put another slab piece right here. And then right here, we're going to have slabs. So just put a block and then go up by one and get rid of the block underneath. And just run that straight back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make it three wide. And then right back here at the beginning, I build it up two more pieces just like that. And that is your engine. Super awesome. Hope you guys got through that, okay? Now we're going to do the tender car. It's not quite as bad. It's actually, actually a lot easier. So let's just drop down right here behind the engine and keep on building. All right, right out the back for a coupler, we're going to have four pieces. Two, three, and four. So you should have four pieces total. One, two, three, four. All right, now we're going to go to our slabs and we're going to drop down here by one. So we can just either put one right here and then go down underneath that and get rid of the top one. And then we're going to go back 21 slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. All right, back to your cobblestone stairs and we're going to put in some wheels. And we're going to have seven total. So starting right here, we're going to go backwards, back to back, just like that, and put in one. Skip a spot, and then do it again. Skip two spots, one, two, and then build the next set. And then continue backwards, skipping one spot in between. And then build it up. All right, so you should have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, next part's pretty easy. We're going to grab a uh, solid brick, and we're going to put here, here, and here. And then right down the middle. Hang over by one piece, and then a piece of cobblestone wall just like that. Back to the front, we're going to put an upside-down stair piece here, and one on the other side. <laughs> and I didn't copy the bottom part of my wheels. I just noticed that. All right, no big deal. We're just going to put one on the lower hitbox and two just like this. And then back down to your lower hitbox. Same thing on the other side. So we've got one on the lower, two on the upper, one on the lower. And that runs all the way back to the last wheel. Right there. Same thing on this side. Oops, to right there. All right, guys, back to your solid piece, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to do that twice. And then we're going to run this all the way back to right here, just over the last wheel. Go straight back across that, and go up the other side. And then cover up the wheels. And you can put a full solid bottom on this if you want to. I just left mine open. You won't see it anyways. Go ahead and fill that in and it looks like that. Grab your stairs and we're going to go to the outside of this and surround the entire layer. And then wrap it around the back. And again, I should stop right here. All right, guys, across the front we have regular stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the rest is solid just behind that. And then we're going to put two on top of that. Or two layers, rather. So there's one, and there's two. All right, build those three layers up all the way around. All right, so it'll look just like that. 
And uh, don't worry, I'll go over the writing and all the uh, trim stuff at the end of the tutorial. All right, next layer is really, really easy. We're just going to go ahead and cover everything up with stairs all the way around. All right, grab your slabs, and we're going to leave seven open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on the eighth block, right across here, and then make the rest solid. All right, back to your stair pieces, and now we're just going to turn them around upside down. So again, across the front, one, two, and three, four, five, six, and seven, and then turn it and go back nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and then across here. Super simple. Fill in the middle with coal. and then just surround the rest with slabs. And I'm not going to do it. I'm going to show you the rest of the train. So after you get your slabs around it, go ahead and grab your fence posts and run them down the side. Leave the, this corner piece open. Grab some fence gates and run them down. One, two, three, four, five. Now this fifth one is kind of hard to set. You need to come up by two and then out by one. And then go ahead and grab your, whoops, <laughs> come up by two, three, and then out by one right here. And then you're just going to set, whoops, you're going to set these right here and open them. And uh, that takes care of the bottom one. As far as the white writing down the side, you're going to come in by one, two, three. And you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip a spot and go one, two, three, four, five. And that's your Union Pacific down the side uh, opposite over here. Again, uh, we're up one, two, three. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And actually, this should be reversed. It should say Union Pacific. So just go ahead and count out your letters. I just did a, uh, an MC, et, uh, MC Edit Mirror, and I flipped it over. So this should be over here, and then that should be over there. No big deal. Same thing with your uh, gates here. Uh, fence posts here, fence posts there. Uh, I've got some ladders down the back. Oops, if you want to put those in straight up the middle. And then I've got some little ribs that go across the back here. So if you go in by, uh, there's your upside downs, or your, yeah, your stair piece. Yeah, is that your stair piece? Yep, there's your stair piece. Go one, two, three, four. And then on the fifth one, just go ahead and build it up. Skip two, build it up, skip two, build it up. And that finishes finishes off the Tinder car. Uh, on the inside here, all I did, uh, <laughs> well, they're gone. I did an MC edit and I moved it. I took some item frames and I just put two on the outside here and grabbed some compasses and put two on the outside. It looks really, really cool. Like it's got the, you know, the little gauges. And then I've got some levers and that pretty much finishes out the inside. We did forget to put the uh, fence pieces down the side. So right here from this block, the cell block, just run them all the way down. To the front right here. Uh, I've got a 3D texture right here for my torch. You can put an item frame and a white block for another light piece. And that is it guys for the Union Pacific Big Boy. Really proud of this one. It was tough. Uh, the steam locomotives are very, very tough to build in Minecraft. I think I did a really good job and I hope you guys did too and got through it all right and really enjoyed this tutorial. Like always guys, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.